Hello everyone and welcome back to Star Stable Online. I'm here with Mix, uh, Mix, Mystic Flame today. I decided to put her in a sort of icy blue outfit. I think it contrasts so prettily with her black color, like she's so dark. I wanted to add a white bow, but um, they didn't have the ones I wanted in the global store and I didn't want to go all the way to the mall. So um, yeah, anyway, we have some new quests this week. What did I decide to name the owl? Sauron, that's it. <laughs> uh, so we're in the mystic, no, what am I saying? In the winter village, going to um, do some of the new quests. Let's see what Crumble has to say. Phoenix, thank goodness you stopped by. Are you by any chance headed to Moorland? One of the rangers there is in need of a wildlife expert. Well, the truth is you don't have to be an expert. You just have to be interested in the welfare of animals, which I believe you are. Yes, very much so. Oh, and before we go there, actually, I'm pretty sure I have more advent calendar presents to open. I've finished my crystal advent calendar, of course. There were 25 days and um, I, there were so many gorgeous crystals. I'm very happy with it. Let's see. Um, I guess we'll do this in order. I think 16 is the next one. Fashionista in the snow pink coats. Oh, wow. That's... Nope. <laughs> That made me think of Sharpay from High School Musical. That that's a nope. I I don't think I would ever use that. No, we're selling that. Seventeen, snowman winter hat. Oh, that's actually kind of cute. Oh, it's got a snowman on it. I would use that. I would. I'm gonna keep that. I think it's meant to go with this, but um, yeah, I'm keeping the beanie because that's cute. Oh no, I've been getting this stupid. There we go. There we go, this stupid lag going. Alright, 18, a teddy pullover? Um, that's kind of bland. When it said teddy, I expected it to be cuter. I guess maybe it means the fabric is like teddy soft. Probably gonna sell that. Oh, that's number 25. Oh, it goes past 25. Oh, a redeem code. Are we there, Yeti 2022? Uh, 22. Well, that's... I, I mean, I guess I can redeem that now. Give me a second. <laughs> I tried to redeem it, but the website isn't working on my phone. So I'll just redeem that off camera. We got some food. We'll see in the next episode what that um, redeem card gets me. Winter token, XP, shillings. Fashionista in the snow purple coat. Oh, that actually looks pretty cool. This one's way too pink, but this one I actually don't mind. I think I'll keep this one. I like this one. Not the pink, it's it's too much, but this purple one's quite nice. I like that. Horse XP. Um, snowy beige and white leggings. Um, actually I could use these. I don't have any pants like this. So I'll keep those. Although it kind of, like if you had a really pale skinned character, it would kind of look like they're not wearing any pants. <laughs> and jewels. What's jewel? Oh! There's a yogurt! Oh, it's a yogurt! This is a different yogurt. It's like... Is it just me or does this yogurt look sick? <laughs> like, okay, it's like really pale. It looks like it's sick. I'm not sure what I think about this yogurt. It it looks like it's sick. <laughs> I, I don't know what to think of that, really. I was wanting a yogurt for Sun Chaser, but... All I think of when I see this one is that it doesn't look like it's well, like... I... I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, now that that's done, let's go... Where am I going? Let's head back to Moorland um, and we'll see... Oh, there's someone riding a bear. We'll see what's going on in there, what they need our help with. Oh no, I just realized, I, I remembered, the reason we're so slow is because um, I ran out of stable care. Um, so I'll have to stop by the vet. I'll go, I was meant to do that off camera. Um, I don't think there's a vet at Moorland, but there is one at Steve's farm. So I'll quickly go to Steve's farm, get a vet treatment, and then, um, we'll be back when I get to Moorland. <laughs> Alright, we're in Moorland, and, oh, um, Aurora Borealis event. Um, Mystic Flame is now way faster than she was before, because she's feeling a lot better, got a super treatment. What horse is this? Oh, it's, um, that, the, the birthday horse, I think. Okay, where is the... Okay, this way we need to go. 
I love how bright and beautiful the snow is. I love, there's something about riding a black horse in the snow with um, light tack. I wish I had a nice white saddle um, to use on her. That would have been so pretty. Hi, Ranger Joyce. Oh, strange sightings. Uh, I don't think that's, is that? Hang on, let's have a, okay, yeah, strange sightings is one of them. So there's two new quests. Oh, well, I guess we'll do the one that we're already doing. Ranging assistance for a ranger. Hello, I'm Ranger Joyce. How can I help you today? I'm meant to be helping you. You say you were sent to help me? Hmm, are you an animal expert? What do you know about arctic foxes? Oh? Okay, so this is the strange sightings quest. What's going on here? Here's a question for you if you're such an expert. True or false, in 2019, a female arctic fox traveled from Norway all the way to Canada through Greenland and the Arctic Pole in an incredible 76 days. I'm gonna say false. That said, I have suck at geography, but I feel like you... I feel like Norway and Canada are on different continents. I'm not sure though. Like I said, I suck at geography. I'm gonna say false. Oh, what? Okay, so they are on the same continent. Okay. <laughs> I get confused about continents because I'm in Australia and it's an island and a country and a continent all on its own. So continents confuse me. <laughs> it's true. She averaged 46 kilometers per day with a top of 155 kilometers a day. Oh, um, okay, here's another question. Wait, what the? Sir, will you please pipe down? I'm holding an orientation here. Hmm. Well, I'm holding a town hall meeting about very important situations, so may, mayhaps you should pipe down. Hmm. Begging your pardon, sir, but your topic can't possibly be more important than the fact that climate change is wreaking havoc with the habitat of wild animals and, and certain species are being spotted in the most unlikely places. Oh my heck, that is exactly what I'm talking about. So you've heard? Darn tootin. Two riders were out on the bobcat trail and spotted what they think was a... Yeti. Pretty sure this guy's a vampire. <laughs> what? No, an arctic fox. What a disappointment that must have been for them. Are you kidding? He's kidding, right? This guy, he's a funny guy. <laughs> Meet Scott Buttergood, the cryptic hunter. Oh no! Oh, I've never noticed she has a flower in her hair. That's pretty. Shut your big bazoo. That's slander talk. Cryptids are imaginary creatures such as the Loch Ness Monster. I'm only interested in science. Werewolves, vampires, yetis. I'm telling you what i seen with my own two eyes. Like everyone else, I done seen bears, mountain lions, and bobcats. The animals, not the riding club. And I seen yetis. On several occasions. Them shaggy white suckers are eight feet tall and yell louder than tractor, tractor horns. One time I saw a yeti with huge gnashing che teeth. There was another fellow with me. It's just typical of these things that I didn't have a camera with me. Ah oh, yeah, sure, sure. But this other guy, I'd just taken a photograph of him with his camera. Wouldn't you know, he actually went home before the yeti walked out in the open. So you can't corroborate my story. Ah oh, yeah, sure, sure. Hmm, convenient. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Another time I was taking a nighttime ride. About 20 yards in front of my horse, I spied something in the tall grass looking at me with eyes burning like campfire coals. It stood up and sure as shooting he was 10 feet tall. I grabbed my flip phone and snapped a picture before I rode out of there lickety split. The photo evidence? Unfortunately my camera didn't have that fancy pants night mode. Can't make out a thing, but I know what I know. It was probably a raccoon and you were just skittish. You calling me a yellow bellied? <laughs> you calling me yellow bellied? It weren't no varmint. Now I'm getting fired up. Settle down, Mr. Buttergood. You aren't convincing anyone. Phoenix, let's get back to the matter of the Arctic foxes. One more question to make sure you're qualified to help in this research. No eye rolling, rolling, please. How do you think the Arctic foxes managed to walk across the ice without hurting their paws? Um. Paws are covered in fur. Fur! Arctic foxes are the only canids who paw whose paws are completely covered in fur. That's pretty cool. Talk about an amazing adaptation, huh? Alrighty then, I'm ready to move on to the next phase of documenting the sightings. The Arctic fox sightings, just to be perfectly clear. 
Where was... Oh! Scott Buttergood's over here! I was trying to figure out... This is new. This little setup here. Huh. Hmm. All the bobcats are gone. Wait, what's that? Oh, it's just a little torch in the snow. If I sound sniffly, it's because I have hay fever because it's summer here. <laughs> As I was trying to pontificate when Scott rudely interrupted, global warming is affecting many creatures. I've never actually heard that word, pontificate. Hope I pronounced it right. The Arctic foxes, for example, really shouldn't be all the way in moorland. However, riders on the bobcat trail reported seeing some of the little fellas. Of course, they could be mistaken. I'd like you to check it out and get some photographic evidence for me. Yes, great, but I need to be a little bit more confident in your knowledge of these animals. There are two color morphs of arctic foxes. Please name them. Uh, white and blue, white and brown, white and red. I would think white and blue. White and blue. Let me tell you something mind-blowing. White foxes change to a brownish color during summer. We haven't observed that camouflage ad adaptation on Jorvik foxes. Oh, cool. Do they bite? I mean, any animal with a mouth can bite, really. Won't they run away? Yeah, probably if you get too close. So you use the zoom lens. Have you ever seen a fox up close? Heck no, those things are terrifying with their razor sharp teeth and dark eyes. That's why I'm delegating the task to you. Foxes are cute, I see some of them sometimes. They're, um, a, what's the word? A pest? Well, I don't know if they're a pest. They're an introduced species. So they're not supposed to be here, but... Oh, cool! It's the iceberg! I haven't seen that in ages! Oh, I remember when the iceberg used to come to Jorvik and it would bring um, baby seal pets with it. Oh my goodness, I really want them to bring back updated seal pets that can slide along with us like the penguins do. That would be so cute! Oh, this is cool, seeing an updated iceberg. Yeah, I like foxes. I um, got a cool picture of one once when I was um, on my way to go feed my horse. It was in the paddock and it stopped to look at me um, as I was driving my car across um, towards the paddock. And I saw it and got a cool picture on my phone. It was cute. Oh, this is cool. I wonder if... This iceberg feels like it has the same layout as the old one, just updated. Or similar layout. Yeah, it does! Like, I'm pretty sure there was this ice tunnel and- Oh! Oh, cool. I'm pretty sure this this iceberg is the same layout as the original one. Oh, wait! There's little arctic foxes! I didn't even see these! Hi, friends! Oh. They just caught up on an iceberg. Wait, so do, do these- I Are these- Wait, maybe, I don't know, are these arctic foxes just stuck on this iceberg as it's drifting throughout the sea? How are they going to get any food? Hi, little friend. Oh, it's so cute. I think we need a picture with this arctic fox. Can we, let's get a bit closer. Can I come pet you, little arctic fox? Let's get a cute picture. Oh, it's cute. I don't have an arctic fox pet. Maybe I should get one. Oh, that's precious. Okay, enough pictures. Let's take a picture. -er. They are pretty cute. Alright. Oh. There's some more. Oh, this is so cool. Pretty sure I've d I did a video when I, when, like, I'm pretty sure I have a video, an old video on my channel of the iceberg and getting seal pets from it. These look, all look like, um, white arctic foxes. Are we going to see any blue ones? Oh, let's not trample the arctic fox. Are they all just going to be white? Oh, this one's cute. I mean, what am I talking about? They all look the same. <laughs> I 
Maybe I should get Sun Chaser a fox pet? I don't know. I don't know, when we bring him out next, um, not next, but like next time we bring him out, I'll kind of have a look at the different pet stores and see what pet I think might suit him. So cute. Okay, do we just head on back? I kind of want to explore. Can I climb up this big hill? It's so cool to see the iceberg come back, just the nostalgia. But I, what I really want to return is the baby seal pets. Come on, come on, Mystic Flame, you can climb it, please. Please let me climb this huge mountain. No, come on. Is it just the angle I'm going at? Please, no. Seriously? Oh no, oh dear, oh dear. No, okay, stop. <laughs> I really want to climb this. Please, Star Stable, let me climb this. Yes! Yes! Oh, this is cool. On top of the iceberg. Actually, I think I want to move forward a bit more. Oh, that's cool. That's a cool picture with the aurora in the background. All right, let's head on back across the little ice bridge. Hopefully I won't take a dangerous fall from doing this. <laughs> Damn. It's okay, Mystic Flame. Oops. It's really hard to see any much of anything because everything's just covered in snow. I'm gonna miss the snow when it goes away. I don't want the snow to go away. I want it to stay forever. It's so beautiful. Wait, what happens if I remove the snow? Okay, so the iceberg's still... I accidentally minimized the game. The iceberg is still here, even if I remove the snow, but now I got a trailer somewhere to get rid of this stupid graphics glitch. So hold on a second. All right, I called for pickup and now I'm back at Moorland. Um, every time with the... Ever since the snow update, ever, um, the winter update, every time I minimize the game, I get that graphics glitch and I have to fix it by trailering or calling for pickup. Anyway, Ranger Joyce, we're back. What am I supposed to do with this camera? I need photos, fox photos, arctic fox photos. I took photos, what are you talking about? Oh, I get it, you're saying you did get some photos. The problem here is that I can't submit the camera as evidence, now can I? I need you to print the photos. What do you mean you don't have a printer? Was I just supposed to read your mind? Tell you what, take the camera to Jenna. She's at the paddock, she will be print the photos for us. Okay. But like, seriously, you should have been a bit more clear. All you said was to take photos. You didn't ask me to print them or anything. So how was I supposed to know? Hello, Phoenix. Are you here to train? No. You need some photos printed for your brain and your Joyce? Of course I can help with the environmental study she's conducting. Waiting for the photos to print. Does she just have a printer out here in the snow or something? Oh, that snowflake ornament's pretty. I've never noticed that before. What? Oh, okay. I don't remember seeing that when I took the pictures. Whoa, what you got there? <laughs> Sauron's just like right near his head. A photo of a yeti? Looks like an arctic fox to me. Oh, a yeti. Holy cow, Phoenix. This is the best day of my life. We have to have a yeti to track. I don't want to help you track it. You, they said you're a hunter. You're going to hurt it. Go show this irrefutable evidence to Ranger Joyce. I'll gather equipment for a tracking expedition. Okay, I think I need to find this yeti before he does. Also, how pretty are these snowflake ornaments over there? I want to find this yeti before he does because I don't want him to, like, kill it. Yeah, I don't remember seeing that in my camera lens when I took the picture. Ah, oh, you're back. Let me see the photos. What do you mean I won't believe my eyes? Phoenix, this confirms my worst fears. Scott was right all along? Huh? What are you talking about? Look, this photo confirms the Arctic fox is strayed from its natural habitat. This is terrible. Joyce, really? What do you mean, look at the Yeti? 
Okay, clearly I didn't quiz you thoroughly enough. Arctic foxes are also known as snow foxes, polar foxes, or white foxes, not yetis. What do you mean you aren't joking? You sound like Scott Buttergood. Oh, you already showed him and he believes you? Let me look at that again. Nope, this is a fake. You manipulated the image. You must have caught the Buttergood fever. Seriously? Great, now I need to find someone else to take a photo for my report. Run along now, go find- uh, go hang out with Scott. She's kind of, um, condescending. <laughs> I don't want to help you out anyway, if that's how you're going to speak to me. Is Scott still there? By Jenna, or...? No, I think he's gone to go get equipment. I just saw someone riding what I believe is an Arabian, and it makes me want an Arabian for Phoenix. Okay. Hi, Scott. By golly, I knew you were a true believer. How could you not be? You see, being in the presence of the mighty beast, even if you were not disciplined enough in the detective arts to notice him until you printed the photo. Sheesh. Where's your park ranger pal? She didn't believe you? Nah, I ain't surprised. Not everyone has the ability to accept the awe and wonder in the world. People think I'm gullible, but I'm just poetic, see? You can help me unpack my tracking gear and build a trap. I don't want to trap it. No, can I sabotage the trap? Oh dear. Um, okay. <laughs> I love the snow. Oh, okay. There's a box. I was wondering why I couldn't move forward. Look for my seismograph. I learned how to build it from Science Channel on your tube. This will help you know when the earth starts quaking, which happens when the Yeti is stomping around. Yeah, you're right, we'll probably notice it anyway. But hey, it's a cool piece of equipment. What if you just accidentally pick up on an, an actual earthquake? <laughs> we also need a stinker meter. By all accounts, the Yeti smells worse than a skunk in a garbage pit. So when this starts pinging, we'll know he's close. What? Yeah, I guess we'll probably smell him. What if we get stuffed up noses? This will come in handy. We can't forget the voice recorder. This is a good one. I've captured a few voices on here. Usually they're saying stuff like, get out, or go away, or do you mind? But maybe it'll actually record a ghost voice someday. <laughs> um, where, wait, where am I going? Oh, I'm collecting building materials. Wait, why is, I just unpacked the stuff. Why is it scattered around? Did I just go throwing his equipment out? Or something? <laughs> I just went through the boxes and just chucked all his stuff out. Okay. Weird. But okay. Um, wait, where's the rest of his gear? Wait, what? <laughs> Why is his stuff scattered everywhere? I thought it was in the boxes over there. I don't know what that was. What's this? It just looks like- I, I can't even see what it is. <laughs> Underneath the snow, it just looks like nothing. Alright, when I- does it show me what I'm picking up? No. Build a trap with the gathered materials. Okay. I guess I have enough materials now. Oh, here's one more. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. I wanna build a trap. We're just gonna build it in Moorland? Shouldn't we build it on the iceberg since that's where it was spotted? Or maybe we're going to move- oh, okay. Maybe we're going to play- like, move it to the iceberg once we build it. This doesn't look like it's gonna be big enough, personally. Um, okay, <laughs> okay, just started with the roof. Or the lid, whatever it is. Okay, that's our trap done. Why is it on an angle like that? Oh yeah, that trap looks strong. I'll put some granola in there as bait. Why is it on an angle? Oh, I see. So it's gonna like crawl on. What? No, I still. Where's the opening? How's it supposed to get in? I don't know. Uh, wait. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Alrighty, the only thing we need now to do now is wait. You really think a Yeti's just gonna walk through Moorland? Seriously? Oh, what? I don't want a daytime. Ah. Why would you do this to me, Star Stable? Why? 
Okay, um, there is another quest we can do. Penguin obstacle course. Okay, well, I guess we can go do that now. <laughs> so I got a stupid date timer. Let's go back to the winter village. I'm really annoyed about that. Whoops. Alright, where's this quest? Okay, it's over to the left. And how many winter tokens do I have? 23. I could probably go get some stuff. Not sure if there's anything I want, but um, I could go check. Oh, that person's on an Arabian. One of the winter Arabians. Okay, where am I going? I got lost. Okay, this way. Oh dear, no! <laughs> this is why you shouldn't ride around with your map open. Oh, there he is, I see. Hi! Hey there, we're, ho we're hosting a special race for the season. It takes you on a beautiful journey through the woods and over the frozen lake. Oh, that sounds nice. But watch for penguins, they live nearby and could cross the track at any moment. Okay, 300 XP, that's pretty good. All right, here we go. Is this a new race or was this race here last year? I can't remember. Hi, penguin. Hopefully Sauron doesn't try to eat any of the penguins. Do owls go after penguins? Are there any owls that live in the same area as penguins? I'm not sure. Well, there's some thorns. Let's not hit those. Oh, I love the contrast of Mystic Flame's black coat against the snow. Decided to have her normal colours instead of the fire ones just because... Oh! Oh dear, did I run over a penguin? Just because the, um... Oh, it won't let me change. Um, just because the fire ones didn't really go with the wintry theme. And I wanted to enjoy her natural colour. Oh my gosh, I keep hitting penguins! Stupid penguins, go away, I'm trying to race here. They're so cute, but it's easy, it's hard to not hit them. Alright. Let's keep going. She's not the fastest because she's only level 3, but this will help us level up. No, I think this race was here last year. Oops. I think I remember this. Like, this part specifically seems familiar to me. Let's go. Alright. Is this the end part or is there more? I was just thinking this race feels slow, but then I realized it's because um It's because I'm on a slow horse. <laughs> She's not level, that's why the race feels slow. You know what I miss? I miss the activity, the daily activity they used to have where you would find um, the helpers wearing little Santa, sa Santa hats in the snow and they'd give you food. I always found that fun because you'd like run around the winter village and look for them. I don't know why they got rid of that. How did you do? Good news, you can race it again every day. How awesome is that? I mean, it's good for the XP. And quickly before we go, I'm just going to see if there is anything I want in the winter token shop and then in the next episode we'll continue that um yeti quest oh, i just noticed there's a star on the very top i've never actually bothered to look at the very top of the tree okay where is the token store it's over here isn't it here we go anything i want maybe the well i can't equip that on this horse oh this saddle's nice Hmm. Maybe this? This could look nice with this. But I don't know what saddle pad I'd use with it. Should I get that? I think I might, because I have this bridle already. Um. I don't think there's... Oh, this is cute! These ribbons! Oh, I want to get those! Get those. Oh, come on. Should I get the saddle pad? 
Yeah, I'll get the saddle pad too. Bridle? Uh, don't think I'll get the bridle or the saddle. These pants are kind of cute. With the snowflakes. I'll get the snow- oh no, I can't! I don't have enough left! How many do I have left? Can I still get the, um... What was the thing I wanted? Ooh. Cute hat. Quite like that hat. Um, what, what was it that I wanted? The saddle. Oh no, I don't have enough. I'll have to go do some dailies. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!